Every time we send an email, there's an opportunity for us to do a little bit of branding, a little bit of extra communication if we properly use our email signatures in the bottom of each and every email. Now, most of us just put our name and maybe our phone number and address in the bottom of our email as a signature, and that's fine. But you can significantly up your signature game using one of these two techniques I will share with you today here on Dottotech. Steve Dotto here, how the heck you doing this fine day? And today on Dottotech, a very simple project. Doing a refresh of our signatures within Gmail or any other email application and upgrading the quality of those signatures. And I've got two different techniques uh, to show you. They both work terrifically well depending on what your needs are. The first is, did you know that if you go into Canva, the Canva is just upping their game in leaps and bounds. But if you go into Canva and go into create a design, you can see they have a whole series of email templates, of, of signature templates for your emails. And as you scroll through, you can find, oh, they've just got so many different looks and so many different feels. Now these very much feel and look like business cards and they are static information, which is something that we will talk about in a few moments. But you can choose any of these, decide that you want to use it, then grab it and add your own photograph to it. Just change it. Let me find a decent photo of me to add to this. This one here might be the best one to use there. There it is. So I've done that. Change the name, change the information, and you're ready to go uh, with, the, with the graphic version of an email signature. Of course, you're going to spend some time deciding exactly what information it is you want to share. Once you've done that, modified it to your heart's content, maybe added your logo, et cetera, you simply go and you download this. You can either download it as a PNG or as a JPEG. It doesn't really matter, but you download it, save it in a place that you know that you can find it. The downloads folder might be where a good place to put it. You save it there and then you're ready to jump into Gmail and add the signature. Let me show you that process. Before I show you how to load the new signature and let's take a look at what the existing signature looks like for this particular, uh, for this particular uh, email account. And you can see that I've got my name and my logo. Super exciting, super exciting. Let's fix that, let's do better. So what we, what we do is we go under the settings menu and see all settings. And then you scroll down until you find your signature. And down here, we can have multiple signatures. That's one of the cool things about Gmail is we can have multiple signatures depending on what we need. But what we're gonna do here is we're going to take and we're going to upload that image. We're gonna insert the image that we're gonna upload from our computer. And I've got my new signature right there. And we're gonna place that into the, into the graphic. And now we've got that in place. Now I should delete the old stuff because that's gonna look terrible. So once that is in place, you can simply scroll down to the very bottom of the screen. This is very important. And you have to save changes in the settings file in order for those settings to, to be invoked. Now, if we go back in and we create a new email, there is that new signature in place. <laughs> I, I kind of look like an Avery, don't I? But there you've got it in place. Now, here's the thing about this particular signature is it's not dynamic. It's just static. It's just a graphic and there's no place to click. There's no place to help people navigate to more information from within the email. And you might want to do that. So let me show you a second technique using Google docs to create a different type of signature, which is just as useful. Okay. The second system that I'm going to show you involves using Google docs. So just start by creating a new Google doc, a blank document and in that blank document, you're going to go and you're going to insert a table. So we go insert table and you're going to probably make just a two table, a, a, a two cell table. Now into the first, into either cell, you can put a graphic or you can add text. Now the purpose of this new signature is going to be to have it dynamic, to have it having some information in it that people can click on so that I, it's not just static information, but there's going to be almost like a call to action within the signature of our email. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add an image to it. So I'm going to upload an image with another image that I created in Canva, but this is uh, information about our weekly webinar. 
this is what I wanted to get to is I, this is a, a call to action that we're putting in place, asking people to join us for webinar Wednesday. Now, instead of just leaving this as a static graphic, like it is within the other example, I'm going to add a link here to this, which is going to be uh, our registration page for webinar Wednesday here at Dottotech. I'm gonna uh, set that up and you would probably dress up the text a lot more. I mean, I would spend some time doing that, but I'm just gonna fast track through to show you getting this into our, into our signature. So I'm gonna select table itself. I'm gonna go through and I'm going to adjust the borders on it, the back, uh, where's the borders here? The border color, there it is. <clears throat> and I'm going to make the border colors either white or transparent so that you can't see it. So it just looks like this as it's done. I'm going to select it all. I'm going to copy it. We're going to jump back over into our same email package, our email software. I'm going to go back into the settings. And now in when we scroll down, I'm going to create a new signature, which is invite to web Wednesday. I'm going to create that and I'm going to paste. Now, what we should have once I've saved this, so now let's check it out. Let's go and compose, and oh, there's the, I made a mistake. I didn't make a mistake, but I didn't make the new signature our default, but no worries. If I go down here to the signature, insert signature, I can, can choose the invite to webinar Wednesday, and there we see the new signature in place. Now I will finish things off by showing you how to make that the default. Let's go back into our settings, go back into see, say all settings, scroll down, select the invite to webinar Wednesday. And there you choose to, for your new emails to choose invite to webinar Wednesday. And that becomes the default fit signature that is used each and every time you create a new email. So if I go back in, we'll just do one last test. We create a new email and there it is. We've got our new signature. Oh, should we, should we test the link? Let's test the link. And indeed the link takes us to the registration page for webinar Wednesday. So it can do us some good as far as a call to action is concerned. So there you have it. You can significantly upgrade your signature game by either creating a new graphic signature or creating a dynamic signature. Both of them easy enough to do. Now, if you have any comments or suggestions, would love to see them in the comments below. I thank you very much for your time today. And if you found value here today, why not subscribe to this channel if you are not yet subscribed? And of course, a like is always greatly appreciated. Now, finally, I wanna take this opportunity to indeed invite you to join us for one of our webinar Wednesdays. They are free here at Dottotech each web, each web, each web day, each Wednesday, we host a free tutorial webinar on some aspect of content creation or productivity. And I would love to see you there. The links are right here. Till next time, I'm Steve Dotto. Have fun storming the castle.